Hi, and thanks for taking the time to watch this video on Neo4j Bloom for developers. Neo4j Bloom is a powerful, out-of-the-box graph visualization solution, and a few of the ways in which it can be helpful for the development community include allowing you to easily query and explore data in your Neo4j database, which can be helpful for understanding the data model while you build your applications. It's also handy for demonstrating value to others in your organization by showing them very rich and interesting graphics. Additionally, you can use Neo4j Bloom as an out-of-the-box solution that helps you integrate graph visualization into your existing workflows, allowing you to save the development time associated with building a custom solution and maintaining it. We'll walk through a few examples of how this can be helpful during the video. First, let's talk about perspectives. Perspectives are a business view of the graph. There are a couple of different ways to generate a perspective. Within the perspective gallery of Bloom, you can auto-generate a perspective. If your graph isn't too big, then Bloom will actually sample all of the labels and properties available in your graph and make them available to the Bloom interface. In cases where there are too many labels and properties, Bloom will intelligently sample the graph and provide lots of them. As new nodes and relationships are added to Bloom via queries or expansions or other actions, the properties and labels associated with those become available for the use of Bloom as well. Perspectives can be customized in the designer found in the perspective drawer on the left side of the screen, no matter how they were generated. Here, you can do things like change the captions that are available on nodes when you hover over them via tooltips or when displayed on the screen. You can also add search phrases, and if you're using the enterprise version of Bloom with the server plugin, you can choose which user roles to share perspectives with. Roles can also be adjusted in Neo4j so that you can restrict security access, for example, so certain users can't change the perspective, but can still view data within it and explore. Now let's talk about search phrases. Search phrases are a powerful feature of Bloom. You can find search phrases in the Perspective Designer, and each perspective can have its own set of search phrases. You as a developer might be able to write complex cipher queries that would be useful to a large number of users in your organization, even though they themselves might not want to learn cipher or have the aptitude necessary to create a complex query. You can simply enter a natural language string that would be entered into the search box instead, and you can parameterize it as you need. Bloom even allows you to add suggestions for the parameters and specify how those suggestions are presented to the user. Search phrases can also be very simple. They don't have to be extremely complex. And it's just one of the many ways that Bloom can be useful for integrating Neo4j into your workflow and including visualization. Now we'll talk about deep links. Deep links are an extremely simple yet extremely powerful way to integrate Bloom into workflows. Deep links use three parameters, the perspective, the search, and whether or not you want the deep link to run when it's launched. For the search, you can use any term that you can enter into the near natural language search box in Bloom, including a search phrase. Used in conjunction with search phrases and perspectives, deep links can be very useful. For example, you might have a web application or a spreadsheet, and there are different rows with different elements of information that might be interesting or useful to a domain specialist or an analyst in your organization they could click through directly into a Bloom visualization showing them the relevant part of the graph. I'll also point out that you can embed Neo4j Bloom into websites and web applications using standard HTML iframes. In this example, we've embedded Bloom into a sample web page, and you can use ShowGraph1 or ShowGraph2, which are deep links linked to search phrases on perspectives. This is a powerful way to easily integrate Bloom into your workflows, and users have access to all of the features of Bloom that they would have in a non-embedded version, including for those using Bloom 2.0 or higher with the Neo4j Bloom server plugin, the ability to save and share scenes with their colleagues. So in closing, Neo4j Bloom offers a number of features, including perspectives, search phrases, deep linking and embedding, that can help developers more easily integrate graph visualization into their organization's workflows and deliver the power of graph to a much larger group of users. 
Why not get started today? Go to neo4j.com and click on Getting Started, where you can try out some of the features we described in a free instance of AuraDB.